I purchased something. I don't know why I purchased this something, but I did. I'm currently at my father's house and not my house because the something is going to be delivered here. You probably already see the thumbnail and everything. So uh, there's no secrets here. But while we're waiting for said delivery, that should be down there. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to fit in the driveway. So we'll probably just unload it in the road. But uh, it's kind of... We might have two of these things. This is my father's. I have no idea what this thing is. All I know is uh, it's a manual. 1979. Well, we got something slightly older coming. I have, my truck's disgusting. Uh, I got it undercoated, so all the overspray is collecting all the dirt on it. So it's like extremely dirty right now. I got my battery pack. We might need this to get the truck off. Yes, it is a truck. And like I said, you probably see it in the tag picture. We got two Chevys here. We're gonna have a third one. Slightly older than the rest. I'm pretty sure I hear them. I don't see it yet. Yep, there it is. Holy cats, look at the situation here. Wowzers. That's what I bought right there. This is a rig. This is a rig, holy cow. How you guys doing? Right. Got the whole fleet here, huh? Ride this right? You guys got a rig, man. You guys got a rig. Yeah. I, I like it. This thing doesn't have brakes, right? No, nah, one of the, the brake lines fucking blowing up there. All right. So how do we um you like? Can, okay, so it's got it's got a parking brake. It's got a parking brake handle. Okay, and that works. Yeah. This whole setup is sweet, you guys. <laughs> it's awesome. Good. Right here, jump, jump up here. This end right here. Okay. Pull it up. Parking brakes engaged. Okay. So like, if you really need to stop it, just right. it up Okay. That's what I did loading. I drove it up here and yanked it and it sat okay. right in its place. And, okay. Yeah. Um, also, I've never driven a two speed or a, what do you it's call it? Is it the exact same thing as a manual? Just you pull the thing up? Ran, so, what? I never got it going fast enough to switch into second, to okay. the second speed. Okay. Like driving in a field, you just switch into the next gear and it goes. Okay. Um, I guess going down the road. I've never driven one down the road, okay. but I guess you just start chugging along, uh -huh. and then you fucking pull up on it. And then go back into you, first. You take it out of gear and you put it back into gear, and it changes gears, I guess. Okay. No, you should be able to, you put it in first, it's hot. So am I going to have to go to YouTube University to see how to drive this you thing? You might. <laughs> <laughs> it's a standard. You can get three, okay. four gears, okay. five gears. Oh yeah, so you want to unload this peg yeah, or? where do you want it? Okay, so we're going to go down this driveway right here. This is a trailer. I didn't, you know, when I first looked at this, I'm like, you got a trailer big enough to haul this freaking thing? Yeah, this is a little, a little overkill for it too. Well, yeah, the trailer's it's pretty big. Yeah, it's nice. It's like Christmas. What are you gonna do with this thing? Like I said, I have no idea. No idea. Not a, I mean, I was looking at like Pinterest to see what I could do. I haven't really come to any ideas yet. Not many good ideas for old ass dog Well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> they only had a few, so. I'm hoping I can find somebody to Photoshop something. There you go. And then, and then from there you can kinda, then you can start doing something. Oh, it's really, it's only got like 34,000 miles on it. 34? I get the logbooks in there. Okay. As long as that's correct. Right. When he stopped driving it, I don't think it went anywhere else. Right. I don't know. So what are you guys going to do after this? Go back to... Probably go home and drink a beer. Just one? Oh, a few. <laughs> That's you. It's that usually cost. <laughs> No brakes. No brakes. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you might want to. 
gonna take that real wide. That was awesome. For not having brakes, these uh. Yeah, these brakes work really well. It does? Yeah. That thing sounds like an animal. Yeah, it's got straight plates on it. Right? Yeah. There we go, perfect. Park it. Just let it die. That's awesome. Thanks, you guys, for coming out. Yeah, how's it right? You got um you got enough hands to take all the stuff back to your truck? Yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, two jump bikes. I cleaned out everything up. So you're gonna miss this thing? Uh, maybe. Maybe? Maybe a little bit. Maybe in the summertime. It was you, fun. You're, well, yeah. I'll tell you, it was fun. It was definitely useful. Right. But everything's gotta go sometime. Oh yeah, for sure. On to the next uh fun toy, I guess. And so have you have you found something yet? No. Not yet. Haven't. Look. That's probably good. Uh, you know, sometimes that's a good thing. Yeah, you know, we'll see what happens. You got beer money that way. There we go. <laughs> beer money. All right, guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Yeah, you too. Pleasure. Thanks for the help, you guys. Yeah, Thanks for the good time. Yeah. I had a good Monday. This, this is a very good Monday. Thank you. Just make sure the key's in it before he takes off. Yep, key's in it. Yeah, so it's got a, a dual stage uh, rear end or whatever. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with that. As you guys heard, I have no idea how to how to drive that. I know that little lever does something. Obviously, that's why it's there. Um, but this is like kind of a bigger boy's vehicle than, you know, I'm used to. This is the, I don't know if it's the biggest thing I've ever purchased because I think the Crush Carrier was slightly bigger. Somebody just shot a deer. I mean, it's just starting to barely um, get cut out right there. Actually, no, it's not. That's made like that. So that's what I really appreciated about it. The fact that it wasn't all rusted out. If it was rusted out, I wouldn't have purchased it. I mean, I think, yep, there's just a tiny bit down here. You can see it's starting to wear away. That's not too big of a deal. You're not gonna see that. And it's got to show some sort of age. I really like the patina. I like the orange. It uh, matches, you know, the whole crush uh, situation, the KTM situation. Not necessarily a fan of, uh, you know, KTM. I, I, I like my Yamaha, but don't have anything against KTM. But we have the orange thing going on. That's what I'm getting to. The, okay, so we got something messed up with the, the hood here. Sweet. We got a hood situation. I don't think that's supposed to be up like that, but maybe it is. Maybe it's dual. Maybe, I don't know. But the, the rig though today, this is a nice Monday. This is a phenomenal Monday. You can see they have this platform here. Now, I don't know if this is, it looks like it's, it's done too nice to be like not made like this. Like farmers usually don't take that time to do stuff that nice so i want to say that's original even though it's like weird and stuff but everything's too nice um the box is in pretty good shape there are you know some small things here but i don't think i'm gonna keep it like this you guys i think i'm gonna go more towards um like a mad max or a just a different type of whip now i would like to put i would like it big enough to have crush fit in it because that would just be sick but at the same time, it's not gonna be a workhorse. I don't really have any work for it to do. Uh, I want it to just look cool on the road. We got a bunch of these springs. Look at the diff on this thing. It's amazing. The dash, as you guys saw, was all torn apart. The doors open up well. Oh, cool, we even get some, uh... oh, do we even get a dirty magazine? Sweet. Um... <laughs> The dash is all torn apart. The bench seat is in excellent condition. Obviously the, huh, yeah, we get a little bit of torn, but 
I mean, look at how nice the cab is. It's perfect. The guy was going to restore it, I guess, and but he didn't know how to work a wrench, the guy said. So why the guy started, uh, you know, redoing it is beyond both of our, uh, it goes beyond both of our mindset. But that's okay. You know, it's gotta be ugly. That's what makes it cool. The tires have to be replaced. We, we gotta do, you know, a little bit of work. There, as you guys heard, there's no brakes. I'm not sure if this is even gonna, Open. Oh my goodness. Come on, baby. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna open that. No air filter currently. But as you heard, the kid said that there's probably only about 34,000 miles, and even if that's off, even if we say 50,000, you know, that's nothing. So we got we got a cool little whip here, you guys. Nice and little. So I hope you guys are excited about what the heck's gonna happen here. Because I sure am. Not sure how quick it's gonna get done because it's winter. But man, I couldn't pass this up when I saw this on Facebook.